Alrighty, here is the review for the Make Toys or Make Toys. Um, I've heard it pronounced both ways. I'm pretty sure it's supposed to be Make Toys, but whatever. Um, Battle Tanker, the, the trailer for the Reveal the Shield uh, Laser Optimus Prime. Um, and, and in trailer mode, it's not really anything more than a trailer. Everything is all folded up and tucked in there. And it does provide a nice little trailer for your Laser Prime. Um, and it does, it plugs right into the trailer hitch there on the sword. And um, it, sometimes it'll, the, the handle of the sword will get a little caught up on a piece under there. But it does have a nice, uh, uh, you know, you can, a good range of motion. I just popped it off the uh, part of that because the legs came undone. That'll do it too. <laughs> but, uh, but yeah, it's just you can rotate it all the way around the truck, just like on a hitch. Um, and that's really all there is to trailer mode. And to spray you guys the couple of minutes it's going to take me to transform him, we'll just put in a little cross dissolve here into the next part of the review once I get him into robot mode. So we'll be back in just a second. And just like that, we are back. We've gotten Optimus here into robot mode. Uh, as you can see now, uh, in robot mode, there's two pieces. Uh, the head, which is new, and then this crotch plate is new. It allow it has the slots to allow the bigger uh, cod piece to attach. Um, and that one, you just this one you just switch out by unscrewing it, the f normal piece back here, putting this one in, screwing it into place. Um, this one, there were some problems with the first release head because it was supposed to just pop on, and apparently that caused the neck peg to break, which I can believe because like I have not popped the head on and off at all. Um, I popped the, the original head off when I swapped this out, but like even before that, like my little neck pegs already got some stress marks on it. I don't think, I don't think you can see them here. Anywhere, but I mean like, so I can believe that like if not even messing with the head has put stress marks on that tab, that popping a head off um, would do it. But this one came with a re the replacement head that with a new peg to replace the peg if you had broken it, but also this one screws apart and is much easier to put on, so that's the head I used. Uh, the sculpt is the same face. It just now has the ability to be screwed apart to go on that peg a whole lot easier. So that's nice. Uh, but other than that, it's the same basic figure. Uh, you just swap out those two pieces. And still, with the new head fully transformable into vehicle mode, as you saw, um, you don't have to put keep swapping pieces on and off of him in general. So onto the trailer itself. Now, there's supposedly, when they first advertised this thing, they showed kind of a battle station mode, but there's not an official one in the instructions, so I'm, I'm not gonna, gonna just kind of sloppily throw one together. Uh, that's just time filling around that we don't, neither one of us need to waste. Now, he does have some clip-on points uh, at various points on the C2 right here, oh, back here, um, for the 5mm, the, 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 the clip system weapons from some of the other previous reveal the shield uh, figures. Um, and also back here. Now this back here is the crotch plate and fists um, for the bigger mode. And you can just take that and you can see there's two tabs right there. And they just peg right in here into Prime's waist. Now the, little, the side panels are movable. Um, and then the fists themselves, go ahead and start putting them together. I uh, actually just, he holds them in his regular hands. They're a little on the on the largest side, even in the combined mode, but um, but not bad. And by making this, they, I thought they just flipped out from the armor, um, but no, they're actually a separate piece that plugs into the hands, so that gives them, even when the armor's on, it gives them a lot more range of movement, uh, which is really kind of nice. So there he's got his boxing gloves on. I uh, unpeg this. This is the uh, battery pack and handle for... Um, you can unscrew this too. This is going to snap back onto the back to hold this sword. But uh, this is a little light. You move this, rotate that out of the way um, for the sword. So that's kind of cool too. Um, and this piece, before we get into it, uh, for just regular prime mode, you can attach this back here. And uh, pull the wire down here, just like that. And uh, this, of course, you can slide the wire through in his hand. Um, and, that, and that's the setup for that. We'll get to the whole thing in just a minute. Uh, and then you just pull the you want to pull the front 
off of this and split in half. These are going to be the side calf missile launchers in combined mode. Um, I think that's, oh yeah, and then we got to lift this up, slide these pieces off. These are going to become the lower legs for the combined mode. And you just kind of open up the trailer here. Um, here oh, whoops, here's one of the sword pieces, and then the, uh, I can get it out of here. Here's the uh, cross piece for it. So you put the sword together by putting this on, and then plugging this in, like that. And now when you turn the switch on back here, um, this way, his sword lights up. And it's kind of hard to tell. You can see it glowing right there, but it does kind of cause this all to glow too. It's just kind of hard to see in the bright light. You can kind of see it shining through the sword there, which is kind of cool. Uh, there's also a separate blade for this sword that is more... It, it doesn't glow. It's just a regular sword like that. Uh, it'll look kind of like Drift Sword. And speaking of Drift Sword, let me get over here in my, in my bag. He does have a replacement. Uh, this one came with a bonus sword, which is just a solid plastic sword for Drift. Um, a different handle, but you can see it's the same blade there. Um, and it does fit uh, right here in... You can still attach it to a Drift, just like his original rubber sword. Um, and just a quick comparison, here's the original rubbery plastic sword with the replacement sword here. Now that was, a, I think, a first release bonus, but like you said, here's Drift um, with the, the replacement sword. So, just a little bonus. Uh, since I'm not a big, huge fan of Drift, I'm not super big on the sword either, but... So there's that. Go ahead and save some battery power by turning this off. And we'll swap back out the bigger blade. Like I said, this is nice. I, I keep this in here. Just I brought, mostly brought it just to show off. I don't think I'll be using this blade all that much. Because um, I much prefer the larger blade like that. But yeah, there's that. Go ahead and pull this out of his hand here. Until we get him transformed. So this is a really neat, uh, neat set. Does take a lot of setting up. So, put all the extra pieces over here for the time being. Um, and we're gonna pop these right here. These guns come out. And these are the guns and the forearm armor. They store inside the trailer here. Um, forearm guard. Forearm guard. And that's everything we need out of the trailer right now, just to make Prime the bigger Prime. And basically how these work is, you want to fold the feet out, down, just like that, rotate that around like that, and then you're going to flip his foot up, you basically transform his foot back to the way it was in vehicle mode, like this, and then this piece slides, and it's kind of tricky to get it in there at first, but, oh, this is on the, on the wrong side, that would also help. <laughs> You'll know when you're on the right side because this peg should be on the outside of the leg and um, as well as there's this wheel curve for the wheel. Well, just kind of pop that in like that. And then there's a clip inside there that's going to clip around the, the black part of his foot. It just kind of clips onto this piece right here. And there you go. You heard it click. And then this piece plugs into the bottom of the foot just like that. And there's his one of his bigger legs. We'll do the same on this side. Now Prime has leg extensions. And then these forearm guards actually clip on here. I think I'm doing this wrong. They clip on this side. They clip right back here onto his little five millimeter curves. I keep wanting to say five millimeter, but just clip system. And then they, they just kind of roll around. And there's a little tab on his arm that's, that slides over. And that bulks up his forearms here. Let me do the same over here. Clip it on. Come on. There we go. And flip it right around. 
And that right there is the armored up prime. You can they say to leave this chest up a little bit to give him a little bit better proportions. And I think it, pulling his head up a little bit does make him look a little better. He does kind of have jumbo giant hands, um, which looks a little silly here in the individual robot mode, but isn't really all that noticeable once you get the whole uh, armor pack on. And again, he, he's got these guns. You can give him a couple double barrel blasters if you want. As well as um, the sword right here. Oh, this came off. And there he is with the sword. We'll go ahead and oh, pull the wire out of that. What do you know? Just plug that right back in. Now we're going to go ahead and remove this piece. Oh, also, when it's in this mode, you can, uh, when he's using the big sword, you can attach this piece right here onto the post again, and then you can use this to store his other sword across his back. Also, if you just want to put the sword to the side, you can also use it um, to store this sword across his back as well. If you want to have him have the two guns but still have the sword available, you can do that. Right now, we're just going to open this up and remove it for giant backpack times. So here he is right there. We're going to go ahead and pull this down like this, and that's how it's going to clip in to the backpack when we get around to that. So now here is the rest of the trailer, and it's time to transform it into armament. So we slide these pieces back from trailer mode. Um, and then we take this whole assembly. You, you'll see this is kind of on like a circular piece back here. And there's an arrow that points down, and you want that pacing in this situation down for truck mode. But for armor mode, you got to get it and twist it around so it's uh, the, the arrow points up. And it can t the last couple clicks can be a little tricky to get it. But then you bring these out to the side here. Okay, yeah. Let me flip this over. There we go, like this. Okay, and there's that. You want to flip these pieces out to form the handles. Just like that. That's where Prime's going to grab onto the, the weapons. And also, these panels here on the side rotate around. Like this. Uh, and this is where the guns store in there, but you, you can plug the guns on to here. And do the same on the other side. And then to attach it, you're going to take it, you're going to slide just a couple little grooves here on this piece, and you're going to slide these grooves here onto the onto his tank backpack here. Get it on there. There we go, like that. And then you just bring his hands forward and Plug them onto the handles here. Let's go flip back again. Okay, come on. It's, like I said, this is, it looks really cool when it's all done, but it is very fiddly getting it all together. It's not quite as solid as some of their previous offerings. Well, I mean, I guess Make Toys has only done a couple of things, but. Since they're generally loosely affiliated with uh, Fans Project, I'm c comparing it to their earlier stuff. Come on. There we go. Now stay on. Mm. Okay. Bring those forward. And bring his arms forward here. Um, and this panel right here flips down and kind of give him some support there in the back. It does get very back heavy. Um, so he doesn't fall backwards. And then, uh, well, actually he's standing fairly well, a lot better than he was the first time. So, 
So there he is like that. Um, these pieces, like I said, become the outer. You plug them onto his outer thighs here. Or outer calves, I guess. So he's got some missile launchers down there too. And then this piece, you kind of fold the back of the trailer back and bring this down over his head. And there's like a little targeting scope that can come down in front of his face. And there is Optimus Prime all decked out, ready for a battle with his armor suit on. He's got the giant arm missile launchers. They kind of look like flak, uh, these giant missile launchers. My only real complaint is that I wish there were a way to stow this thing. You can, I guess you can kind of flip it back like that, which makes him look a little asymmetrical. But yeah, if there was, if there was some way to flip this all the way over, you can, I guess you can unpeg it. It doesn't really flip all the way over on the back. This is the way the the way the ball joint is. You can only fold it down about like that, and that just looks silly too to have it hanging like that. But I wish there, like I said, I wish there were a way to have him all armored up, but without this uh, this piece blocking his face. If there was some way to fold that away, I'd be very happy. But um, but all in all, a very nice looking, powerful prime all armored up to take on some deceptive creeps. Um. So yeah, it's a very cool set. Um, I got mine from TF Source. They just got some more in of the first release, that the limited first release that does have the uh, Sword for Drift in it. So if you want that Sword for Drift on top of this whole set, um, they did get some more in, and I'll put a link to it as I usually do in my videos. But all in all, like, I, like it's definitely it's it's not a ch the cheapest set that's been put out. Um, but I feel I got my money's worth. It's I don't know if I pay much more for it, um, but I certainly don't feel like I got ripped off. I feel it's just about right. Certainly, if it were cheaper, it'd be better. Because um, like anything, if you have to pay less for it, that's great. But um, but I think it's definitely worth the money. I'm having a good time with it. Um, really nice display with all the armor on. So, yeah, definitely worth looking into picking it up. It's the Make Toys or Make Toys Battle Tanker Upgrade for Reveal the Shield Laser Optimus.